they were already legends and heroes this season but they cemented that with the league title on Monday away to Chorley oh if it's over 4,000 what an achievement as Charters plays it inside Dan Ward battles to get it back but still going or Hereford this goes for a shot from distance oh keeper had it covered just <laughs> I love the fact that you know that there isn't anything on this game let's be honest yes we, you know we talk about the Nice head back in there. Oh, for can McCauley Langstaff is onside. Can he finish it here? One on one with the keeper. Yes! It's in! McCauley Langstaff makes it 1 0. It was a tight angle in the end. And I think there might have been a touch from a Hereford player just before it went to the back of the net. But who cares? It's 1 0 to Gateshead. And McCauley Langstaff adds to his total this season. The sort of thing we've seen time and time and time and time and time again. Brilliant. Yeah, just a lovely little period of pressure there from, from my, Gator. My, my, initial, my initial first thought that Kedwin Scott I had nicked it off in the I did as well. But I think, yeah, I think it's definitely... Uh... I think he would have celebrated if he had got the touch. Um, but Taylor Charters in possession. Always oh, poor ball inside. And now Hereford come forward with pinch on. Across the far side. It's with Evans and puts it over. Just two more goals for 100 goals scored this season in the league. And uh, how are the lads? Here's Jordan Hindmarsh. Thank you very much. Keep them oh, messages coming go. in. And Gated on the attack again. Down wall goes for his job from distance. Oh, oh and Sundergaard had to push that one away. And it's a corner to Gated. Good and save. I'll tell you what, he caught that tweet, didn't he? It was going in. It was flying in the top corner. It's a great save. And in it comes. It's a great ball. Oh, and it's been cleared to Down Ward on the edge. But Greenfield with a shot. Curling. Oh, we got the whip on it. Just couldn't get it to dip down. Revan on the far side. Oh, oh uh, I thought he was going to give it away there as Owen Evans has dropped deep. And Great now, pressure. Yeah, right, again. Throw in from pressure from Gateshead. We, we shouldn't really, you know, if we're honest, be surprised that they are playing this way because this is what's got them so far this year. Oh, can Tinkler lays it into Ollie. Ollie pulls it back. Now oh. oh, great save. Can it fall again? Oh, <laughs> Kevin starts oh. second time of Asker and Gateshead get a corner. As, oh, no, they're doing I thought they got a corner. Yeah, I think it's come off Langstaff. Yeah, and uh, Gator did everything but score there. Great save as well from the keeper. That was just a random collection of noises from you, wasn't it? It was, it was, yeah. <laughs> see what was happening well, there. <laughs> what a hit the flat on my back, slipped on the stairs, come on the heel, you hook it, man. Well, hopefully you're feeling better, Tommy, and we'll have you back here next season as La Staff. Plays it inside to Ollie. Ollie looks to play it over the top for the run. Dan Ward's touch was beautiful inside the box. Can he get a shot off? Oh, he off the crossbar. Oh, that was a beautiful. Well, there was definitely a deflection there. I thought the keeper made a save, pushed it onto the bar. Dan Ward looks right up for it today, doesn't he? He does. That's he two, does. Two pretty long distance efforts. That, uh... Well, I'm sure the keeper tipped that onto the bar. Oh. Sinclair on the right hand side inside the Hereford box puts a ball into oh, the box you know from McCauley Langstaff and oh. the keeper had to come out that was a beautiful ball yet again how many times have we seen it this season from the right hand side from the boot of Tinkler the pressure. oh that's it and Gated now as Langstaff goes for the shot oh, oh great dear. save again okay. oh. <laughs> sorry I shouldn't laugh Edwin Scott on the far side on his own. Absolutely <laughs> screaming for that. <laughs> I know they've created many goals for each other this season, but there wasn't, yeah. wasn't a catch chance in hell of... Uh, he wasn't going to pass that. <laughs> no? I'm going to have words. Well, Gates will have a throw here. Can we take him quickly? Over to Langstaff. Can he pull it back across? He can. Kevin Scott! Can he make it 2-0? Oh, great save again from... Sundergaard, he's just made himself big. And is this second goal going to come for Gateshead? They're really trying. Well, everybody inside the Gateshead half bar, the Hereford goalkeeper, Marshall, fists it away, only as far as the edge of the box. But now Gateshead can clear. And Macaulay Langstaff drives with the ball. He's going to get over the halfway line. He leaves Raven behind him. He's still going. Can he finish it, Macaulay Langstaff? Oh, great save again from Sundergaard. He made himself big, came out. And, well... He's the man stopping this from being a cricket score so far. Brilliant pace. Just burst away from his man, didn't he? Outstanding from Macaulay Langstaff. Do you know, I think a large part of it there. So Hereford's had a 
sort of, I wouldn't say sustained, but they've had a lot of pressure there. Yet, they never really looked in control, whereas you look at Gateshead and when they're in possession of the ball, they do look in control of things. Yeah, they look like they can get the ball forward into different areas, whereas they're just holding on to the ball Hereford at the moment. But Patton, Patton trying to drive forward, just right oh. into his air. Now Ward dispossesses him, he's still going. Ward tries oh, to get around. Can he finish this off? He gets past the keeper, brings well, good save from the keeper. I thought they had brought him down. It's just a. There must be a nightmare to play against. I think that's the basic one trying to say here that you know they don't stop pressure in here. They're always a threat in behind. Well, Paul Blackett is stripped and ready to go, and Kevin Scott goes for the shot. Oh, Sandergaard with another save. This boy is absolutely fantastic. As Ollie puts this one in, headed clear. Womble puts it back out to Ollie. That's a lovely ball. Can Ollie put the delivery so in? He can. Oh my word! Blackett and story were coming in like a steam train there. I don't know which one got the connection. I fear it might have been took off one of the other two. <laughs> I think it might have been brilliant ball from one more that way, by the way. And the attendance is 4,129. 4,129 here to see Gates at Crown Champions of the National League North. What an attendance. And the Hereford fans are getting a good round of applause. 99 of them have made the trip up here today. Nice thing from Ollie to Ward. Ward puts the ball through. It's going to bounce. Bob. Oh, Black gets it front. Can McCall Langstaff finish it? Yes! It's 2 0! McCauley Langstaff! He's got a brace! What a way to finish the season! Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Really calm. Left the keeper with no chance. It's fitting, isn't it, that McCauley is the one that has taken Gates out of the winter day after the season he's had. Been so instrumental in a number of ways in this title win. But Bennett picks it up on the left-hand side. He's a, he's a big unit, but Raven lays it off. Gateshead managed to get away by hooker by goes. Cook. Just, just run. McCauley man just run. turns. He's running onto the ball. The crowd are screaming. Switch it. Kedwin Scott's in here because of space. He puts it to Black and Black and look up. He's there. Was it a foul? Referee gives him the free kick. He's taking this. <laughs> and this is Greg. This is Greg Olly territory, yeah, but I reckon McCauley Langstaff might have a say. He may fancy it. We await him to come forward now. Langstaff hits it. Hits the wall. Should out. Let, should let Ollie take it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ollie is going to take this corner on the far side. Oh, pings it over to Kevin Scott. The edge box takes a shot. Can he get a shot off? Oh, straight into the ribs of Pollock. Now, Langstaff on the edge of the box, goes for a shot himself, bounces, oh. good save, but it falls to Blackett, can Blackett pull it back across? He can, it's been hooked clear by Haynes, only as far as Ollie, though, on the corner of the box. Plays it inside and didn't find its target, and now yeah. Hereford drive forward of the ball. Stories and acres on the left-hand side. Ball comes out to him, Dan Ward's there for company to try and close down his space. Pulled back into the centre as Raven gets a shot off, puts it into the back of the net. It's uh, 2-1, Raven pulls back a goal. The right back absolutely blew up the pitch there. Yeah, it's a good finish, good break. Sorry, uh, the left back. It's, it's a, you know, it's a really good break. They've taken a while, they've kept the calm at that end of the pitch, and, and really for the first time showed some composure. It's Greg Oli now steps up, kills it all oh, past the upright. And that would have been some moments here. Ball comes off down Ward. It's going to be a throw to Hereford. And there you go! The full time whistle! The champions! Gateshead! They've given us everything this season. Goals, entertainment, a cup run, the cherry on the top. They've won the league. Fantastic. Just everything you could want in the season, everything you could want in a football club right here, owned by the fans. This renaissance led by the fans. You know, you think of the people that have made this happen. You think of what the club went through to make this happen. Just wonderful. Just wonderful. Two heroes come out now to pick up their medals. Ben Clark comes out in front. He wants Mike Williamson to get his by himself. He gets the medal as well for being part of the closing stuff. But here comes Mike Williamson, player manager. Absolute hero here and now on Tyneside, both sides of the river. But what he's done here at Gateshead, it's been nothing short of a miracle. But there's been a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, time spent, crafting this side, moulding this side.
He got the players he wanted to do what he wanted here, and they've done it in style. And out comes the captain now, Greg Ollie. A magnificent season, 28 assists, I think it might be 29. What a performance from Greg Ollie. He was made captain this earlier this year. The fan, the players are chanting his name here. He's coming over to get his medal, and then he will go over to lift that trophy. Well, he receives his medal. Well, Ollie goes over now. Gets his hands on the trophy. He's about to lift it up. And here we are. Get to the champions! The champagne bottles have opened. They're spraying all over. Greg Ollie dances with the trophy. A loft in the air. What a season. What a club. What a bunch of players. Well, every player's going to get their hands on it now. And up it goes again. And so do the cheers. On that note, everybody, we're going to join in the celebrations ourselves. And we will be uh, signing off. And thank you very much to everyone that's joined us. And we will be back on Thursday for the Heat Army podcast. Hopefully we'll have some players on and continue the celebrations. Till then, thank you and goodbye. <laughs>